Well, the left is the fuck at it again, man. Or the left thinks they are. The reality is, is that a guy like Tucker fucking Carlson, man, he's been anti-war, anti-war in Syria, anti-fucking Google, anti-corporations, anti-motherfucking conglomerates and aristocrats controlling shit, pro-free speech. Man, listen here. You ain't gonna be all those fucking things without somebody fucking trying to take your ass the fuck out. Well, we're there again. It is what it is. Let's get into this. By the way, women hate you when they do you wrong and you put up with it. Yes. Exactly. Women because they hate weakness. They're like dogs that way. They yep. can yep. smell she, it on you and, and they have contempt it. for it. They'll she, bite you. I mean, I love women, but they're extremely primitive. They're basic. They're not that hard to understand. And one of the things they hate more than anything is weakness in a man. I realize that for some left-wing motherfuckers, some normie individuals, this red pill type of knowledge is something that might have evaded you. And for you individuals who are very young and have not been taught this type of shit, especially females, you might not know this about yourself, but legit, y'all don't like fucking weak men, all right? You ask any older individual who has cried in front of a female, and you'll t they'll tell you immediately that that moment right there, they lost all fucking respect for them. You know what I mean? Dudes legit are not supposed to cry in front of their women. They're not supposed to be weak to their women. Women don't like you when you're fucking weak. This is Red Pill 101, my friend. You know what I mean? They're not interested in that shit. You go, oh, women are fucking basic. They are basic. Women are some basic ass fucking creatures. They respond to certain cues. They respond to fucking confidence and charism uh, charismatics. They respond to an individual in a shiny car. They respond to fucking shoes and shiny things. That's what it is. Man, listen. All right, yo, look, he dropping some more fucking red pill knowledge. This isn't sexist or fucking misogynist or chauvinistic. That's some basic shit. It really, really is. And I mean, and if we can't have an honest conversation, you go, oh, not all women. Shut the fuck up. All women are like that, all right? No woman wants their man to be some weak little fucking pussy who's over here eating fucking soy and drinking the cum out of a motherfucking vagina after she gets fucked. Real shit. Do you run into Martha Stewart in the hallway over there? No. Oh, Alexa Stewart, we run into her all the time. <clears throat> she seems like a... She seems <laughs> awful. Yeah, they're, she is they're awful. Very, they're very <laughs> tink. She seems extremely... I like to hear that word out of... Oh, yeah, he, I just... I stepped over me. She seems... What? Now, go ahead. She just does seem a little <laughs> tink. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you said it. I'm just agreeing with you. I, <laughs> I don't use that word. Right. I'd love good. for Tucker Carlson. Tonight on MSNBC, a girl that comes across kind of <laughs> tink. Well, she right. does. I mean, I heard her... I, I mean, I... Now, I'm a Brent fan, so... Okay, I'm stating my bias right out front here, but I heard her on with him, and I just wanted to give her the spanking she said. So I actually want. And, like, for fuck's sake, you're not allowed to have an opinion about another individual? Like, legitimately, oh, why, because it's sexist, and you only call, yo, I call dudes cunts. You know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, it's just a word, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Man, listen, motherfuckers are goddamn soft. And really, they're not pissed. They're just upset because, you know, I mean, the left wing has been told that Tucker Carlson's a fucking Nazi. He's not a goddamn Nazi. But he's, he's pretty left fucking wing on some real shit. If this was the 1980s, Tucker Carlson would be like a JFK type of motherfucker. You know, I mean, JFK went around then I got you. But that's what the fuck he would be like. He, he'd be a left wing fucking California fucking liberal. But he's not, all right? He's right wing now because he, you know I mean, talks sense and listens to both sides of a fucking argument before he comes to an opinion. He's anti-war, pro-free speech. Those are lefty ideas, all right? You guys are fucking retarded for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, you're not allowed to have a conversation in this country no fucking more? I gotta be honest with you, I don't like her and I wouldn't vote to confirm her if I were a U.S. senator. But I do feel sorry for her in that way. I feel sorry for unattractive women. I mean, there's nothing they did, you know? She oh. is, I mean, Nobody she deserves that. And men are just mean. Yeah, but she could certainly, I mean, shape it up a, a little bit. I mean... I mean, lose 10 or 15 pounds, get a tan, fix those teeth. I no, mean, get a, it's just absolutely fundamental. Physically, the problems are I mean, this just woman, fundamental. She's okay. never going to be an attractive Let's, And what? The bitch looks like a fucking younger version of Madeline Albright. She is an ugly bitch. 
She looks like a fucking troll. Legit. The chick looks like she's fucking pear-shaped and shit. Her fucking teeth are sticking forward out of her goddamn mouth. Like she was like fucking holding on to like a fucking bumper of a goddamn truck while being drugged down the fucking road. And her whole fucking jawline got slid fucking forward. She got the shovel face and shit. She has the goddamn I fuck black dude starter kit from 1955. This bitch is ugly as shit. It is what it is. Like man, yo, we need to, y'all need to calm the fuck down. I'm glad you brought that up, Tucker, because I meant to tell you, um, is no matter how much somebody disagrees with you, I thought it was absolutely disgusting that Ariana Huffington attacked your father. Oh, my God. Well, I, she's a pig. I, I thought, and, you know, and the funny thing is, I've known her for a long time, and, and you her husband and everything, and, and I could I could have a lot to say about that, actually. You want to f*** Sarah Palin. You well, talk there's about, that. There is that. I'll agree with that. Putting Paris and Brittany <laughs> in a commercial with Obama is classic old school miscegenation, old South. Uncle Tom. <laughs> old, it's old South. <laughs> oh, these, two, <laughs> these two young white girls are going to be so da dating a black man. So they're trying to say that he's coming for your pristine white no, daughter. No, no, so, 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 the biggest so, white so, in America. So blimly, and so he called Brittany and Paris Hilton motherfucking whores at the Britney show to vagina and Paris made a motherfucking sex tape with some dude and she had a dong with the fucking balls hanging out in the fucking middle of her goddamn mouth and shit are you fucking serious right now like real shit she called Ariana Huffington a pig she's a fucking pig you know what I mean she went after his fucking dad would you expect him to be goddamn nice to her like yo man listen just fucking retarded dumb shit and he wanted to fuck Sarah Palin which, I'll be honest with you, that's some fucked up shit, you know what I mean? Because, like, legit, that, that bitch was old and wrinkled. Like, you look at her neck, you know damn well she take her goddamn clothes off. Like, that bitch got fucking stretch marks and fucking liver spots and shit. That broad is not looking like she's fucking positive, legit. Like, she is not a, you know, no, she was way too old when she was, even, even when she was running for election with McCain, man. Like, legit, you know, she was not good looking. I don't care what nobody says, like, yo, that bitch got the fucking like the ugly resting bitch face and shit she she looked like a fucking soccer mom and shit you know what i mean like she's just gonna go to the school board and report you for some dumbass bullshit she'd be the type to like fucking file charges because like you took a piss you know what i mean on the side of a goddamn park and she's like my kids could have been playing there like she's a fucking just a she looks she's a piece of shit human being but it is what it is like se like seriously man like we're this is where the fuck we're at right now in our fucking dialogue in america Yo, fucking Media Matters legitimately fucking like, yo, George Soros is a bitch. He is upset that everybody is fighting against his goddamn agenda, and he's taking out all of us one by one. So I'm just reading the story, trying to figure out how to get it into our show tonight about the, about the kid, the 13-year-old who was, I guess, molested, they're saying, by his teacher, who had sex with him 28 times in one week. Yes. She slept with this kid. 28 times in one week. Now, I ask you. In one week? You have a lot of experience. You've been around, right? Could you do that? Can I sleep with, with well, not a kid, but can I sleep with a woman? Could you six, sleep with a 165-pound woman 28 <laughs> times in one week? Are you physically capable of doing that, or do you take your hat off to this kid? Yeah, this kid should, this kid should, should get like a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> for, 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 the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Man, look here, that young dick, nigga, that young dick. I remember them fucking days, man, when we used to fucking be able to bang out for, like, years. Jesus Christ. I remember one time I had, I was, like, 15, 16 years old. I had sex with this chick from, like, 8 o'clock at night till, like, 10 in the morning. We just kept going ham. And, I mean, you know you was just spitting puppy juice at that point, or that bitch would have ended up, like, with 15 of my kids. Thank God, like, because that bro was fucking insane. She was, like, sucking my dick crab walking backwards in the middle of a fucking street and shit at like fucking eight o'clock at night when everybody was in there watching the simpsons and shit Whew, those are some those are some good old days back then man i remember that shit like fuck but anyway man you know how i miss that bitch you fucking had some good cutty like, god damn anyway right yeah man i'm saying look man listen all right yo look man like for real for fuck's sake why, why can't we have these type of conversations like Man, there's no nuance anymore. It's all just, oh, we need to condemn everything. <laughs> like, a left wing has become, like, a whole bunch of fucking, like, <laughs> like, like the elders from fucking Footloose and shit. <laughs> like, oh, we won't be dancing around here. You know, fuck with their jowls and fucking nonsense. Like, get out of here, you dumb motherfucker. Cut that shit the fuck out. Beat him yeah. anyway.
Study after study has shown that when men make less than women, women generally don't want to marry them. Over big populations, this causes a drop in marriage, a spike in out-of-woodlock births, and all the familiar disasters that inevitably follow. More drug and alcohol abuse, higher incarceration rates, fewer families formed in the next generation. You know, it's called hypergamy. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's what that's called is hypergamy. Females don't want you to earn less than they do. They want you to earn more. All right? Like, yo, because a woman's always looking for her best deal. So she's not going to stay with you if she's better than you. She wants you to be better than her. Like, that's just... I know, like, they've been taught all this feminist nonsense in their heads and shit. Like, you know, and they go, I'm better than you. And the moment they say I'm better than you, they don't respect you anymore. It's just how the fuck things operate, all right? Because there's like, there's no females in a fucking burning fucking house. And I mean, the house is on fire. Like a bitch is putting a little, she can have like a little short little boy pixie cut and she put that shit up in fucking pigtails. Like I'm just a girl, right? You know what I mean? Bill Burr, you know? And like, that's that's just some real shit. That's legitimately where it's at. Like a female does not want you to be better, want, does not want her to be better than you, all right? She wants to be able to rely upon you and you to be able to take care of her and the fucking offspring because she's pregnant for nine months and usually can't fend for herself. And that's why they're asking the government to give women more money so they'll fucking be able to cover pregnancies and shit. And none of that's going to work any fucking way. Like, none of that makes any fucking sense. It's just hypergamy. It's just how the fuck shit is. And you go, dudes go, well, I have a female who makes more than me. We do better, 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 better. Yeah, well, I guess what, man? She's going to go to work one day. She's going to meet some dude who's fucking better than you. And she's going to suck his dick in the copy room. That's what the fuck's going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, yo, she's going to get plowed. She probably already is. Like, legit. And I mean, like, yo, when a female is truly better than you, I don't give a fuck how many kids you have with her. I don't give a fuck how much in debt y'all are together. I don't care how much shit you've been through. All right. A chick meets a dude who is truly better than you. She's going to fuck him. All right. And she's going to hope that she gets pregnant. And she's going to fucking stand here and look at you and go, you a worthless piece of garbage. That's how the hell shit is, man. That's life. That's reality. All right, don't stand here and talk about some nonsense like it's leading to this and this and this. Yeah, it is. All right, because once females start out earning the dude, the dude ends up in the fucking street. They get divorced. Like, yo, because like the rate of divorce for individuals when a female earns more than the men is 85 to 90 percent. All right. And that causes, yo, divorce causes fucking single motherhood, which causes kids to grow up in a broken fucking household. They grow up in a broken household. There's more addiction, more alcoholism. The dad turns to alcoholism because he just lost his fucking family because he believed in all your feminist lies and nonsense and garbage that you've been telling him for the past fucking 30 goddamn years. He's living in the Disney fantasy world. And now he has to figure that shit out. And then they end up committing fucking suicide. Welcome to reality. All right. This is real life. This is not a fucking game. You fucking leftists think you actually know some shit. You legitimately fucking don't. This world is not to be fucking played with. It's Tom Pease. Y'all know the fucking deal. Peace be like one.